I'm going to show you something here, man. Just when I thought this boutilla was doing okay, absolutely useless. So I just pulled the center spear out of this thing, and it is kind of crappy looking, isn't it? It looks fermented. So there is the last boutilla I will ever plant on this property right here, man. And you know what? We thought it was doing really well. I even had the trunk, little burlap on the trunk, had an umbrella over it, and at minus 8 degrees Celsius. Look at that. Look at those spears. I was noticing some of these were turning brown along the edge of the new frond opening up. And I gave it a little bit of a tug, and out they came. So, do I waste my time putting hydrogen peroxide down it, or I just rip this thing right out? Like I say, they're okay palms. They've never been my favorite palm, because I knew I know they're not 100% foolproof. Only in the mildest areas of Salt Spring Island. And look at that, man. Proof is in the pudding. Spears come out of this thing. That was the late December freeze that did it. So I'm not saying it's dead, but it's not good when they lose their center spears because I've lost bigger ones before that have been in the ground 10 years and they've lost their spears. They're very prone to spear loss when you get a cold snap. So, uh, you know, I thought keeping it dry would make it hardier and it usually does, but obviously not. This is a Home Depot special and uh, guess what? I think this special is going to be probably ripped out in a couple of months. I'm going to leave it for a bit and we'll see what happens. I think I will put a little hydrogen peroxide down there right now. There's the spears. You can see their toast, all kind of mushy on the bottom. And uh, there's the hole in the center right now. So that's not a good thing when a boutilla loses its center spears. These, these fronds can stay green for a year or two after. So I'm going to say this thing's toast. I'd be very surprised if it pushes uh, new spears out. So anyway, stay tuned for an update. I show you guys like it is. If a palm's going to die from the cold, then you're going to see it right here. So... I'm not too optimistic about this one. I think it looks like, I think it's going to be like uh, toast just because I pull these out. And then I look at this one and it is actually, looks like it's opening up a, there, this is the, uh, this is the Parajubea. So let's see what's going on here. I don't want to speak too soon. It's not pulling out. It looks green. <laughs> Only time will tell with that Parajubea. But the outer fronds are toast. I got to cut them off. So Definitely not foolproof, and definitely not foolproof in our garden, the Boutilla Capitata, the Pindo Palm. All right, thanks for watching, folks, and uh, check out more videos on this channel. Stay tuned for updates.